Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused. Uh. Hey, bitch. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's dark in here. I'm gonna do a get ready with me, even though I have nothing to do today. Even though it's New Year's Eve, because my family not normal. We just watch the countdown. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I gotta pee. Okay. We love a beauty guru. We love a talented shesta. Step numero uno in becoming a oh, hold on a beauty guru. You need makeup wipes. I have the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes. Towelettes. So if you're dirty like me, you don't feel like washing your face, just take one of these babies right here. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and boom, your face is clean, okay? And now we're gonna take the Mario Badanskoo, Badanskoo, Mario Badanskoo right here. <laughs> I have the cucumber green tea one. And we're just gonna. We're gonna take a moisturizer. Any moisturizer that you have is a fine, sister. But I'm gonna take the Clean and Clear moisturizer. I've been using this for years. And I love it, so. Um, we're just going by the way my hands are clean because I just washed them yeah I could wash that just not my face <laughs> don't forget to moisturize your neck because sister makeup goes there too okay because you know you gotta blend it down and stuff you know what I'm saying you're not trying to look like you got a mask on mask on step numero dos I mean oh. step whatever number we're on do your eyebrows. What I'm gonna use today is this e.l.f. Um, lock it on liner and brow cream. I'm just gonna do a little bit because I'm just gonna clean up my eyebrows with the Maybelline concealer. Oh, I can't even see. Oh no. Oh my god. So today I took Rudy on a hike with my cousin and her dog, and like I feel like a proud mama, bro, because this is the second time that. It was the second time I took him off the leash. And I, the first time, he literally, we went to the park, right? And we walked down these stairs. So, let's say my house is right here. Then you cross the street, there's these stairs. And then it goes down to the park. And then right here is, like, a busy street. And we went to the park, like, like heck of, like, by the playground. We let him, I let the leash go because I was like, you know, he's not going to go nowhere. Like, he's not stupid. Zoom. He, he zoomed out of there, bro. Ever since that, I was traumatized. So I wouldn't let him off the leash when I take him on walks. Like today with my cousin, and she was like, she was like, you gonna take him off the leash? And I was like, I was like, I don't know. And then I told her the story, and she was like, no, I think he'll fall. Because like, he was excited because she brought her dog, right, Kaya? And so he was like, she was like, I don't think he'll run away. Like, I think he's gonna follow Kaya. And then I was like, oh, should I? But I trust my cousin because she's like good with that dog stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's a dog person. Like, I'm a dog person, but she's a dog person. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, okay, fine. So I took him off the leash. First thing he does, <laughs> we pass by a group of dogs. And then he starts following those dogs instead of Kaya. But then uh, when he came back to us, like, we gave him a treat so that he knew, like, he should be following us and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to blend this out with the real techniques. Deluxe concealer brush, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're deluxe in this batch. But, yeah, like, we let him off the leash. We went on a hike. And, uh, he was off leash the whole time, bro. And, like, I was just so proud because he didn't run away and stuff. And then at one point, he started, ch I'll put the video right here. He started chasing a rock down the thing. And there was dogs down there. And I thought, uh, I thought he was going to run to those dogs. But as soon as the rock stopped rolling, he ran back up to us. And I was like, oh, my God. Pretty. Little powder. I'm going to prime my face. With my, with my Maybelline Master Prime. Oh, let's be a beauty girl. Okay, so next is I'm going to prime my face with my Maybelline Master Prime in 50 Hydrate and Smooth. Okay, I'm going to put this here. I like to use a hydrating primer to combat my oils and the dry foundation, you know? Because if you put a mattifying foundation and a mattifying primer, I mean, yeah, and a mattifying primer, then your skin's going to be like, oh my god, I'm hecka dry, bitch. Like oils oils but if you put um 
a hydrating primer and a mattifying foundation, then your skin's gonna be like, I mean, it's okay, I guess, you know? Now, I'm gonna take my Fenty and just my Fenty. I'm not gonna mix anything in. Apply the foundation with this e.l.f. brush. So, it does leave it really streaky, but then you just gotta keep breaking it in. It leaves it really streaky at first, but then you just gotta keep working it in, and then the streakiness will like start going away. And now I'm gonna do it under my eyes. I wanna see how this works out because I've never used a brush for under eye concealer. Foundation is a like it sets itself, but the concealers that I use don't. But I'm just lightly setting. Just lightly setting those areas and then taking the brush and just wiping off all of that powder. Ooh, wait, does she have a powder brush? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush from the Morphe 502 collection and just wipe off all that excess powder. I'm probably gonna use the same brush for um bronzer because it's really fluffy so for bronzer i'm gonna take an oldie but a goodie and this is, it has like sparkly things but you know new year's it's like a little gold specs name it's the milani baked bronzer in soleil this was my stuff man i don't know i'm just gonna take this brush and then my bronzer and just Oh, you know what? I'm going to take my finger first. I'm going to take my finger on my bronzer. Put that all over my lid. Okay. I'm going to do a black eyeliner. I haven't done eyeliner in forever, so if it comes out ugly, please don't judge me. I'm using the Wet n Wild waterproof eyeliner. Oh, it's a felt tip like that. Oh, this is about to come out terrible. I'm calling it. Pop. So on top, I'm going to do the silver glitter thing lipstick thing from makeup geek i got it at target this cream stain in the color waltz i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put this on okay so this is my makeup look. I'm done. This is my New Year's look. New Year's get ready with me. Da -da -da -da. Thank you guys so freaking much for watching. Don't forget to come back for other videos. And don't forget to go watch my other videos that I have up. Um, Yeah, I'm going to try to post even when school starts. Quite a bit. Just because I have no life. I have nothing better to do. So might as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Ote, ote. Shabai. <laughs> I need a thumbnail. I need a thumbnail. I need a thumbnail. This is like... It's going to be new year, new me. <laughs> okay. <laughs>